Hey there, welcome back to my channel. I'm Aditya, and in this video, we are going to perform a tutorial on how to write code for autonomous driving in Python using OpenCV. And unfortunately, this is not a standalone video, it's basically an extension of lane detection video that we have done in the past. So, here's the flow of the video. From here, we will have a look at the recap and then talk about the prerequisites that we have and then we will start with the implementation and finally end with the result. Now let's have a look at the starting point from where we are beginning. So we begin by reading the image with OpenCV on Python and we draw four coordinates of a trapezoid that focuses on the lane so that we can use those coordinates to perform perspective transformation and so then we use those four coordinates to perform perspective transformation and obtain the bird's eye view perspective of the road. Right now, the lane now appears to us as if we are flying above the road and looking perpendicularly downwards, which will enable us to do more accurate image processing rather than looking from front dashboard to the road. Then we performed image thresholding on the perspective transformed image of the lanes and image thresholding is nothing but intensity transformation in terms of image processing and basically we converted RGB color channel to HSV color channel and did accurately track down the thresholding such that we are able to only pick the lane pixels. And then we applied the sliding window approach on our code to detect the lanes accurately. Now for all of this, I have a video on YouTube with good reputation that you can use to get the prerequisites right, but it's completely up to your choice and the link will be in the description. And then we did another video where we mapped the lanes that we detected on the transformed perspective of a bird's eye back to the original perspective and that is about all the prerequisites. And with this, let's begin with the implementation. As an overview of the code, we are going to find three things. Lane curvature, which will help us to understand how much the road bends. Lane offset, which will help us to measure how far the car is from the center of the lane. And then the steering angle, which, help, which will help us determine the direction that the car needs to steer to stay in the lane. Uh, these calculations are fundamental for any autonomous vehicle and you can easily find them on various references on the internet. So let's begin the implementation step by step. So first off, we define lane points, which we are doing in left points array and right points array. What this does is we are creating a list of points along the left and right lane lines using the LX and RX coordinates detected earlier in our sliding windows. Now each lane line is represented as a series of points X comma Y spaced vertically example every 40 pixels on the y we have an x coordinate that's the by the way size of the sliding window that we had now once we have these coordinates we want to fit it into a polynomial and that is what we are doing in left fit and right fit what we what it does is uh, this code fits a second order polynomial that is a parabola to the left and right lane points. So basically we created not a straight line, but a second degree polynomial uh, out of the coordinates that we got on the left lane and similarly for the right lane as well. It's important because the mathematical model will help us calculate the lane curvature, which is critical for steering decisions. Followed by this, we have left curvature equal to right curvature equal to and then curvature equal to three variables defined. What this does is we use polynomials coefficients to calculate the radius of curvature for the left and right lanes. The overall curvature is their average. So the curvature tells us how sharply the road is bending. A small value that is a small radius of curvature indicates a sharp turn while a large value indicates a straighter road. Next, we have the calculation for lane offset. We are setting the lane center as the center of left and right base. And then we are assuming the car position to be the center of the screen, that is 320 on X. 
and then len offset is nothing but car position minus len center and that we are getting in terms of pixels but i do want to write it in terms of meter and this is a close approximation of pixel to meter conversion that's 3.7 by 640 so lane offset tells us how much the car needs to adjust laterally to stay centered so that's its significance we must strive to keep it zero now we will calculate the steering angle and that is nothing but arc tan of lan offset upon curvature into 180 by pi so uh, that will give us the angle in degree and the formula is basically from mathematical references and i'm just using it so what this does it it uses lane offset and curvature to calculate the steering angle in degrees and a positive angle means that the car needs to turn right while the negative angle indicates a left turn now once we have done all the calculations we do want to visually visualize it as well for us to better understand what's happening so for that we have end x and end y coordinates that we are creating and what it does it it calculates the end points of the line that visually represents the steering angle it's helpful for visualization how visualizing how the steer steering angle needs to be adjusted on detected lanes finally we need to show these calculated values on our image as well so we have the code for it right here i'm just going to uncomment them and that will make them or bring them into life and make them effective so it's basically going to write the calculated values on the top right of the screen and also draw a line that reflects the steering angle now let's run the program and see what we have as the output and there you have it from detecting lanes to calculating steering angles and lane offset we have taken a crucial step towards autonomous driving the same principles can be extended to control and navigate your vehicle in real world scenarios but let's not make it far fetched the least we can expect is to control our bots in real world scenarios if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more such tutorials feel free to share your thoughts or questions in the comments and i'd love to hear about your projects or help you with your challenges 